Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out Weldworks Brewing Company's Puesta del Sol. Say Vienna Lager, but it is a Vienna Lager. This is a uh, finely tuned beer from where is it from? Colorado. Colorado. That's right. We did another Weldworks before the Juicy Bits. Juicy Bits. Yeah, it was an orange one. Wow, this is really dark. Holy hell. This is probably the darkest Vienna Lager I've ever seen. Okay, well. That's real dark. Apparently this beer uh, is a winner of the World Beer Cup 2016. They got bronze, um, so that's good news. So they use equal parts Vienna and Pilsner malts in this one. That being the case though, I've never seen anything that dark before. I guess this is maybe most breweries don't use equal parts and that's why. It smells like I'd expect it to smell though. Traditional lager smell. Yeah, it's got that that typical, I, I look at it as like, it smells a little bit like copper, like pennies. Yeah. And that's just what I get out of it. Um, it's definitely malty. It's got a slight kind of caramel sweetness to it. It reminds me of all the fall beers we had last yeah. year. Fall color smell to it. That doesn't make sense. In the Smart Mouth video, we mentioned that too though. Where like, it smells like the season looks. Yeah. <laughs> like what you expect. <laughs> Not much hot presence at all. Um, probably, there's no IBUs on the can, so I couldn't really say, but I'm sure it's super low. It's only a 5.4% beer. So, yeah. Let's dive in and try it out. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Now, I will say mm. that this beer is sort of unbecoming of this season. It's the middle of winter. So why are we drinking this? It looks really fresh. I really like that bitterness that kind of kicks in in the back. Yeah, it's definitely got a little bit more sweetness than I expected it to. Mm -hmm. But the bitterness does come up from the back end and support it. It's, it's like a really nice balance between sweet and bitter. Yeah, well, that that's what it's supposed to be. So good job. <laughs> It, uh, it's definitely pretty complex. Like that sweetness has a little bit going on in there. Mm -hmm. I can't really place what exactly I'm tasting, but there's a little zing to that sweetness that I haven't ever tasted before, I don't think. And maybe that's the interplay between the Hallertau hops and the equal parts Munich and Pilsner mm -hmm. malts. This is definitely a different take like a slightly different take on most Vienna lagers I've had. Yeah, I don't think it's traditional in the yeah. sense that we've had like a tradi like uh, the Von Trapp stuff or um, what's another really good one that we had during the fall? Like uh, the the Smart Mouth one was good. The Midnight one was good. Devil's Backbone. The Devil's Backbone Vienna mm -hmm. lager. I mean, it kind of like it, in when you compare it to other craft beer, like the Devil's Backbone Vienna lager, uh, I would say that it's pretty It's pretty close. I think it's maltier than that one, though. Yes, for sure. And definitely sweeter. Mm -hmm. uh, that one's a more easy drinking kind of kind of Vienna lager. Um, this one takes it to a different level and kind of cranks up that malty, malty kick. But then they also crank it up a bit on the bitterness, mm -hmm. which is not very traditional. Yeah. I really like this. It's good. It's a different take. Um, it's something that we've never had before. I like that. Good job. Good job, guys. The Weldworks stuff, man. We got a couple more Weldworks beers to do, and um, I'm digging them so far. Yeah, I really like, like We've liked beer. all of the stuff that we've had from them, even the stuff that we haven't put on the channel for review. And yeah, it's no wonder they keep winning awards on these. I like the can art too. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's got this like sort of crazy, it reminds me of like Arizona or something. <laughs> like this just design, just, I don't know. It's real blocky and kind of like, very bold colors and yeah. the font is, is appropriate. All the fonts, there's like five different fonts on there. They got this one, you got that one, this one, this one. Lots of stuff going on here. They always have this fine-tuned beer with little rotary knobs, like volume knobs. Yeah. I wonder if they really Tune. like music or something. Maybe. Well, we also really like music, so 
guys are cool in our book. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. If you're interested in more craft beer reviews or craft beer event coverage, be sure to subscribe and click that little bell icon to stay notified when new videos come out. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.